Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And we today are making more um, signature pages to be mass made so that when all I have, all I, when I'm stuck basically and I don't know what pages to put into my book, my signature, I can just grab a page out of my box and say, oh, look, there, I can just put that in. So today we're making two more kinds. I made two before. I will put a link to that video before, uh, down below or uh, to the side or wherever it is for you. But this particular type of page is extremely simple. Uh, my pages are always eight and a half by 11 folded in half. So that makes them five and a half this way by eight and a half tall. So I want this to be eight and a half tall. And yes, I'm already dropping things. Uh, that's par for the course. That'll make a nice pocket somewhere at some point. And then I'm going to cut all three of these. Now I have, these are just off cuts. These are pieces that were leftovers. Actually, let me go this way on them. I'm going to do them both at the same time. They were just leftovers from other projects that have been hanging around in my box. And this way now at eight and a half, I can cut off the bottoms. I'll use those for something else some other time. And now I have some, they're all different widths, you can see. They're, they're not anything alike. And I have coffee dyed pages. These are computer pages. Uh, computer paper pages that I have simply dyed and I'm going to make into something that I can just pull out. I'm just taking a page off of my glue book over here because it's very big right now because it's brand new and it's heavy and I want it out of my way. So what I'm going to do is put a glue page underneath here because I want to put this on like a pocket and I'm going to make sure which way I want the, my I think I want my pieces to go that way so I'm going to put my notch over here. Now I could put it this way and make it a pocket here or I could put it this way and make it a pocket here. And I think I'm going to put it this way. And before I do that, I, okay, what I dropped was my dauber. Thankfully, it did not drop far. And I'm going to go ahead and edge these, at least this one. I don't know if I'll edge them all. The weather here in the Finger Lakes has turned chilly for June. <clears throat> you can probably hear it in my voice that I'm fighting a little bit of a cold, but that's all right. That's, you know, summer colds are par for the course, at least for me. And I decided I wanted to go this way. I use Fabri-Tac for this. If you have art glitter glue, there's no reason why you can't do this with art glitter glue. Um, I use Fabri-Tac rather than a glue stick simply because it's um, a thinner line. It doesn't take up as much room. So there we go. Let's put our line right down along here. All along the outside. These are, one, a good way to use up some of those offcuts that you have. But two, pre-making the, oh, I, I now put it over there anyway. Well, that's okay. That's where it's going to be now. So now I have a page with a pocket here. Easy. Now what's nice about this is that when I put it in my stash, and see, I did that one on the inside. I did that one on the outside. I did this one actually on the flip side. But what's nice about this is that when I do it, I can 
then let's put this one on the inside. Uh, I could just grab it off the, the shelf. I don't have to search around for it. I'm actually going to offset this hole and I'm not going to do anything with it, but I offset it because I didn't want to lose my words. So I put it in the middle of that piece there. This would be really nice in a travel journal. And yes, for those of you who were watching me in January and I started, or maybe it was December when I started the Mexico journal, guess what? It's still not done. I know it's June. We went to Mexico in January and that journal is still not finished. You know why? Because it's for me. I keep making journals for everybody else first. But this might make a nice little page in that journal. And then I can put receipts in there. I can put photos in there. All sorts of things. But there's another pre-made page that I don't have to worry about. Now this one is a big one. So this one I definitely want to put on the outside if I want to go that deep. Or do I want to cut it in half? Let's see how big it is. It is four and a half inches. If I cut it down to two and a half, that leaves me with a narrow strip. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just dropping my, my ruler over there. Because that'll make a nice belly band for another project. Probably something that has to do with this page. Because this would be a really nice nature page. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put my notch in on the side. I know people have been keeping those and making really cool things with the notches. Um, I have been tossing mine and I probably shouldn't. I know that. I've seen some really cool edging done with them. So maybe I'll start keeping them and I will do some edging. That might be a future video. Watch for it. Okay, I want to put this... Hang on. Okay. I'm trying not to get glue everywhere because I forgot to put that underneath it. But I want to do this so I don't get glue on the page underneath. There you go. And then once I decide what journal this is going into, if I want to add a little bit of lace or a little bit of washi or something else down to it, I can. But this gives me a whole bunch of bases now that I can use just putting them in my stash. And I'll show you my stash when we get done. Um, but that'll be some more pages in my stash. All right, that's type one. Let's take a look at this other type. Now, this other type comes from Carrie the Crafter, and I played around with these before, and I really liked how this one came out. This one I thought was too busy, and I don't really care for it much, and I tried it with a different color, and I don't like it. So what I think I'm going to end up doing with these two is using them in collage um, and then keeping this idea. So this is a really simple, fun idea. We're going to, you're going to take your page, make sure that's nice and firm, and then you need a couple post-it notes. I'm going to take a post-it note and I'm going to just rip it and place it. And I'm going to leave that one kind of big. Let me grab another post-it note. And I'm going to cut, I want these to be smaller, so I'm going to take that edge and that'll go off to the side because you know darn well I'm going to use it. I'm going to put one down here in the corner and I'm going to put one over here offset. All right, so I have now covered my page. The next thing I'm going to do, and I used different pieces for this. For this one, I used, this is from Park Lane. Um, clear stamp, six pieces. I'll put that up there so you can see the number on it. I, I got it from Joanne Fabrics. I liked this one the best. This one I used a different stamp that just did not work very well at all. And this one I used an all over Tim Holtz stamp. And I just, again, I didn't like it. It was too busy. 
So I'm going to go back to using, whoops, <laughs> missed the stamps. Okay, I'm going to go back to using this stamp. This is the Park Lane stamp. And I'm going to use, this is Recollections Archival Pigment Pad, Ink Pad, uh, in black. It's a pretty simple black. I'm just doing mine in black, although this one does not seem, this one might be empty. I have one that's empty and one that's not, so let me, this might be my empty one. There isn't a whole lot of ink coming out, doesn't look like. Well, we'll see. And I'm going to start at the top, and I'm just going to make... Basically, I'm going to cover this whole thing with my ink pad or my ink stamp. Now, I don't know about you, but I get my fingers absolutely black by the time I'm done with this. Um, let's go here. They do not all need to go in the same direction. And here, there's some overlap and that's okay too. If you have a bigger stamp, this goes a lot faster. Absolutely a lot faster. I just cleaned my mat. I was absolutely appalled. I went to do something and I wiped it up and oh my glory, the dirt that came off of this map and I thought, Matt, and I thought, oh dear, we have to do something about that. So, yeah. Now, this also would probably work well if I put my book underneath it. If I did this on my book. Some of you know that a, a smoother surface sometimes works better. Yeah, I like how that, that's coming across a little bit easier. Okay, that's not quite level. That'll drive me a little bit crazy, but we'll see. Okay, once you have put your stamp down, take these off. Now, I'm going to save these because I'm going to use them again on my next piece. So now I have empty spaces in which to put something. Now, I told you before, I did one here with colors. I didn't like them. So I'm not going to use color again. I'm going to use black. Um, although I, you could probably use gray. I might try to use gray. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, and I have, I've got butterflies that I can do. I have roses that I can do, but the roses are too big. I brought, I just pulled out a lot of my stamps here. I like that little flower. That little flower would look really pretty down there. So let's, the, the, this, this particular set of stamps came from, I think, the Dollar Tree. This was not an expensive set of stamps. Now, I used that black. Um, I'm going to try... This black, this is Craft Smart dye ink pad. This was well, the very first ink pad that I got, and it's um, not. As, this one is the one that's just about dry. But I really like that little. Look at how pretty that comes out. Where's my Stampin' Off page? I have switched to a bright colored Stampin' Off page so that I'm not always looking for it. I can find it easily. In fact, let me stamp that off a little bit. All right, put those aside. Let's use another ink pad. I need to cover that up because I do don't want it to dry out on me. 
Okay, I'm looking for a tall one. There's a nice tall one. Again, this came from the Dollar Tree. Come on, it's stuck on there. So this one's a little bit more time consuming, but it's also a little bit, a little bit more fun. The other one is, you know, pretty self-explanatory, pretty quick, pretty easy. This one is a little bit more fun. This one would be great in a nature journal. You could add, I don't have any little numbers to add down at the bottom, but I would certainly, if I were um, doing, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to some numbers. I think we'll play for in a minute with this one. Okay, I need two more stamps. This one is a nice long skinny, so let's take the long skinny. Come on. Off you come. And I'm going to take you off of there. I'm going to put you on. I will take a pause in a few minutes and do a cleanup. Because obviously I am making a mess. Okay, that's a nice long skinny. But it makes a nice impression. I tell you, some of these Dollar Tree stamps are the, some of the best that I've gotten because they make a really good, strong impression. All right, I need one more little one. One more little one, and I've got a little one here, again, from the Dollar Tree. There we go. Let's use you. Okay. Now, I said before, I need a number. I need some numbers on there. Let me grab my numbers. And I, because I don't have any, I don't have a number, I, I have a number stamp, but they make big numbers. They don't, they don't do little numbers. So I thought, let me see what I have here. See what I can find. Okay, that says 54 on it, but I can just rip it in half. I put the four down there and maybe put the five over here. Oh, wait, look, look, look. Five, four. I have a three already stamped. Oh, let me see if now, do I have a six or a one? There's a six. Perfect. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab the glue stick and put these guys down. Now I could stamp them in there. What I like about doing it pre-stamped, one is it's already done. Don't have to do much except glue it on. Um, and two, I like how it looks different on the page. It's not the same. And I'm not trying to fit it into the box. I can put it overlapping the text. Yeah, this is, I like these. So that'll go in very nicely into a travel journal. Okay, I'm going to take a minute, clean up. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've cleaned up. Um, and in taking a look at this one, I think, you know, one of the things that I, I think I would do with this one and possibly this one, um, <clears throat> this one, obviously, I didn't put the numbers on, but I probably will at some point. But if, if depending upon the journal that it goes into, if this ends up being too plain, you know, you stick a great big butterfly over the middle of it or a great big flower or something that goes, you know, in the middle. I'm not going to put it on now because I don't know exactly how this is going to end up being used in the journal. Uh, and like I said, these two pages are going to rip apart and these will end up being collage pages. 
Hello, I am back again, and I apologize. I had a little bit of a glitch with my camera, all taken care of at the moment, but I there's a bunch of stuff that did not get filmed. So this is where I was. I had made this one, and we had, that was my sample one that I showed you. That one's going in the box. This one and this one I don't like, so they're not going in the box. This is the one I did on camera. This is one that I did, and I'm going to take a minute now. It was a ripped piece that got, when I coffee dyed it, it ripped. So I went ahead and ripped down the edge the whole way, because this whole corner piece was gone. And I'm just going down now with uh, Ground Espresso. Hold that up. I'm upside down. Ground, exp can you see? I'm not even in camera. There we go. Ground espresso. And I'm just going to go down along the edge of it to give it kind of a burned look. So that it looks like it got singed, perhaps, at some point. So there we go. So I had that one, and I'm, I did not do the numbers on this one. Um, because it has letters, it has words. The, this is, again, from a stamp from Dollar Tree. And it, this is chili pepper and mustard and cardamom and vanilla. And so because that has the words in it, I didn't do the numbers. And then I did another one. I also did this, what I thought was on camera. Um, and I did butterflies. I did more spaces. I put two butterflies in this space because I didn't have a really big butterfly stamp. Um, but I did butterflies, and I thought that that was really kind of cool. So these are now going into my box of pre-made pages. So I have these. I have the ones with the pockets on them. I have these from before where I made the... I don't know, I guess you could call it a collage of book pages to be used. I have these with the ruffles on them. And then the other pages that I have in here, these are some that I had cut for a signature and then decided I didn't like the size. These are pages that I had for signatures and then took them out for, for other journals and then took them out. Same here. I have a couple of puzzle pages that I had taken out to be put in, a couple of tissue paper pages, uh, just again, just some other pages that I had taken for journals. This was a sheet that I did. I was playing around with embossing and I thought, well, you know, that might make a nice sheet in a journal at some point. And a whole bunch of graph paper that can be used. I have, oh, I have two pages left from the United States Constitution and Declaration of Independence that I coffee dyed at one point. So I have a couple of those pages, some book pages. I only have two of these left. These were the leaf rubbings that I did. And uh, so I'll have to wait till the fall or I can just go out, I suppose, and take a fresh leaf off the tree right now. And I'll have to do some leaf rubbings because I only have two of those left. This was just a piece of coffee dyed paper that got ripped. I don't know why it's in there, but it is. This is perhaps a preview. When I get to a thousand visitors, I want to do a digital set of handkerchiefs. I have so many handkerchiefs that my mom gave me. And so I've been doing kind of these, I've been digitizing them bit by bit. So I think when I get to a thousand uh, subscribers, I'm going to offer this set for free. This was some uh, piece of tissue paper that I put napkin on. And, you know, just this is all that's in here. These are all just pieces of stuff to be used up as signatures as we go along. So there we go. I hope you have been enjoying these videos. If you have, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit like if to, just to let YouTube know that you are enjoying them, hit the notifications bell uh, if you want to know when the next video comes out. And in the meantime, go build your stash and have a great day. This is Cindy signing off.